o'clock on Easter morning. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And so in order to facilitate this morning's lighting of the new fire, I invite you to have close at hand in your homes a candle, some matches, because it is a participation in resurrection life wherever we find ourselves. The service of light, during which fire is blessed and the Easter candle is lit to represent the risen Christ. Throughout Eastertide, this candle is a constant reminder of the risen Christ the light of the world. The church is in darkness as was Calvary when Christ died on the cross. As Christ, God in the Old Testament made his presence known by the sign of the pillar of fire, so fire now represents the return of Christ, the light of the world from the darkness of the grave. Dear friends in Christ, on this most holy morning, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord, when we venerate him in the mystery of his death and resurrection, through the celebration of the Paschal Mystery in word and sacrament, he renews our faith and hope and gives us a share in his victory over death and in his eternal life with the Father. This is the lighting of the new fire and this is the fire, the fresh fire from which we will light the Easter candle. Most loving God, we share in the light of your glory through your Son, the light of the world. Sanctify this new fire and inflame us with new hope Purify our minds by this Easter celebration and bring us to the feast of eternal light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have already pre-put in the incense grains because usually I need some help and I'm on my own here at six o'clock in the morning. So... As we come to this wonderful symbology of something of the mystery and mysticism of this morning, the Easter candle represents the risen Christ. It is marked with various signs. Five grains of incense stands for the five wounds, the cross for his death. Alpha and Omega, the first and last of the Greek letters, a, li a title given to him in the book of Revelation. The date shows that he, the Lord of all time, sanctifies the present year. And so we trace these symbols on the Easter candle. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all times belong to Him. 
and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. Amen. And so the Easter candle is lit from the new fire. May, and I invite you now at home to also light a candle and at the end of this service perhaps to put it in a window so or a window which is visible to anybody who's passing your home. I know that many of us have high walls or bushes but at least it is an indicator that in this home Christ is honoured and we choose intentionally to glorify Christ in the light of our lives. You can even put it in your driveway, if of course the wind doesn't blow it out. But put it maybe in a mug or a glass that it won't blow out, so that others might see and give thanks if they pass. Even if they don't pass, the birds of the air will see. And so, may the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. The candle is brought into church and the light is passed to all people, a church that is not a building, but is her people and all forms of life. This candle is a sign that every Christian must share in the church's mission of carrying the light of Christ's gospel to every part of the world. Christ, our light, thanks be to God. Amen.